Welcome to Easy A Homeschool Academy. Volcanoes. Our Earth is a fascinating place. It is constantly moving and changing. Some changes are explosive or noticeable, while others are subtle or obscure. Today, we are going to learn about volcanoes. Before we talk specifically about volcanoes, we will learn about the layers of the Earth. The Earth has four main layers, the crust, the mantle, the outer core, and the inner core. The crust is the outermost layer of the Earth, and it's the layer that we live on. It's like the Earth's skin and is the thinnest layer. The crust is made up of different types of rock, and it's broken up into pieces called tectonic plates. The mantle is the layer that's under the crust. It's much thicker than the crust and is made up of hot, dense rock that can flow like a thick liquid over very long periods of time. The movement of the mantle is what causes the movement of the tectonic plates. The outer core is a layer of liquid metal that's located under the mantle. It's made mostly of iron and nickel, and it's very hot and under a lot of pressure. The movement of the liquid metal in the outer core is what creates the Earth's magnetic field. The inner core is the very center of the Earth, and it's made of solid metal. It's also made mostly of iron and nickel, and it's under even more pressure than the outer core. The temperature at the center of the inner core is so high that the metal is melted, but because of the extreme pressure, it's still solid. So that's a basic overview of the layers of the Earth. Think of it like a big layered ball with the crust on the outside, followed by the mantle, outer core, and inner core. Each layer has its own unique characteristics and plays an important role in shaping our planet. So, what is a volcano? A volcano is an opening in the Earth's surface or outermost layer through which molten rock, ash, and gas can escape from beneath the surface. Volcanoes are formed by the movement of tectonic plates or by hot spots in the Earth's mantle and they can be found all over the world, both on land and under the ocean. When a volcano erupts, it can release magma, ash, and gases such as sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide, and water vapor, which can be harmful to people, animals, and the environment. Some volcanoes erupt explosively, while others have more gentle eruptions, but all can have significant impacts on the surrounding area. It is important to note, once a volcano is formed, it can continue to grow as new eruptions add more material to its cone. Over time, volcanoes can become very large and can have a significant impact on the surrounding landscape and ecosystem. What are the stages of a volcano? Volcanoes can go through different stages or states throughout their lifetime. Here are the four main stages or states of a volcano. Active. An active volcano is one that is currently erupting or has erupted recently within the last few thousand years. These volcanoes are constantly monitored by scientists to track any changes in activity that could indicate an impending eruption. Dormant A dormant volcano is one that is not currently erupting but has the potential to erupt again in the future. These volcanoes have been active in the past, 
but they are currently in a resting state. It's important to note that a dormant volcano can become active again at any time. Extinct An extinct volcano is one that has not erupted in thousands of years and is unlikely to erupt again. These volcanoes are completely inactive and show no signs of volcanic activity. Reawakening A reawakening volcano is one that has been dormant or extinct for a long time but begins to show signs of renewed activity. This can include increased seismic activity, changes in gas emissions, or deformation of the volcano's shape. When a volcano reawakens, it can become active again and pose a potential hazard. These are the four main stages of a volcano and it's important to note that volcanoes can move between these stages over time. Volcanoes are monitored closely by scientists to track any changes in activity and to help protect and prepare for potential eruptions. There are several types of volcanoes, each with their own distinct characteristics. Here are the four main types of volcanoes. Shield volcanoes. Shield volcanoes are broad and low with gently sloping sides. They are formed by the accumulation of multiple lava flows over time. These types of volcanoes usually have non-explosive eruptions and tend to produce liquid lava that flows easily, creating gently sloping volcanoes. The Galapagos Islands in Ecuador The Galapagos Islands are a group of volcanic islands that are formed by shield volcanoes. The islands are home to many unique species of plants and animals that have adapted to the harsh volcanic environment. Cinder cone volcanoes. Cinder cone volcanoes are the simplest type of volcano. They are small, steep sided, cone shaped volcanoes that are made up of loose volcanic material such as ash, cinders, and bombs. Cinder cone volcanoes typically have explosive eruptions that blast material into the air and produce lava flows. Sunset Crater, Arizona in the United States of America is a cinder cone volcano located in northern Arizona. It last erupted over 900 years ago and is now part of the Sunset Crater Volcano National Monument. Stratovolcanoes Stratovolcanoes are large, steep-sided volcanoes that are made up of alternating layers of lava, ash, and other volcanic materials. They are also known as composite volcanoes because they are composed of multiple layers of volcanic material. Stratovolcanoes have explosive eruptions and can produce lava flows, pyroclastic flows, and ash clouds that can travel long distances. Mount St. Helens in Washington in the United States of America is a stratovolcano that erupted explosively in 1980, causing significant damage and loss of life in the surrounding area. Caldera Calderas are large, basin-shaped depressions that form when a volcano collapses into its magma chamber after a massive eruption. Calderas are typically much larger than other types of volcanoes and are characterized by their steep walls and flat floors. They can have both explosive and non-explosive eruptions. Yellowstone Caldera in the United States of America is a massive volcanic caldera that sits atop a hot spot beneath the Earth's crust. It last erupted about 640,000 years ago and is now a popular tourist destination known for its geothermic features such as geysers and hot springs. 
These are the main types of volcanoes, but there are other less common types such as lava domes, submarine volcanoes, and future vents. Volcanoes are one of Earth's natural phenomena. They are unpredictable and some can drastically affect their surrounding environments. Scientists and researchers are constantly collecting data and observing volcanoes to learn more about them. I hope you learned something today about volcanoes. Remember, they are openings in the Earth's surface through which molten rock and gas can escape. Thanks for coming on this learning journey with me. Until next time. As always, thank you for watching. Tell us what you want to see next. Email EZA Homeschool Academy at yahoo.com. Like and share our videos. Please subscribe to our channel.